E... A... In this video, I'm going to teach you how to sing subharmonics and help you get your first subharmonic note in minutes. Being honest, I don't think this is as complicated as people make it out to be. I've heard some people saying, oh, it takes you a year to hit your first subharmonic note. I believe that when it comes to subharmonics, it's one of those situations that it takes a minute to learn, but a lifetime to master. Huge difference between them. And using the technique I'm about to show you, I've had some of my friends get their first subharmonic note and hit it in five or 10 minutes. I call this the Count Dracula or Count Dracula approach. I still don't know why they made that serial, but this is the approach I take. I find it's the quickest way to get your first subharmonic note. There are numerous different ways to achieve a subharmonic note. And in this video, I'm primarily using the technique of combining a vocal fry with the note. All comes down to one thing, like I said, Count Chocula. Before we get into this, one big pro tip I'm going to say is do this alone. As we all know, singing can be a very frightening thing for a lot of people, you know, just singing in general. And when it comes to subharmonic singing, it can be more of a social anxiety thing when making all these weird sounds with your voice and with your mouth and everything. So I suggest to a lot of people do this by yourself alone. You don't feel self-conscious about making all these weird noises. For me personally, I actually practice my subharmonic singing the most when driving. Cause I'm like, hey, you know, I'm driving anyway. And even if I only practice for five or 10 minutes, you know, it's good practice doing it almost daily. And two, I'm by myself, which makes it a lot easier to really try out all these weird vocal techniques. With all that being said, let's get into it. Now it all comes down to one thing, Count Chocula. Now here's what we're gonna do. You probably did this when you were younger when it comes to like vampires or Dracula or whatever. I want you to mimic their voice. So here's what you do. You're gonna go, ah, 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 just like that. I'll give you some time if you want to like kind of follow along with this video. So what I want you to do, like I said, make sure you're alone so people are not like, what's this guy or girl doing? You want to go, ah, 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 just like that. Do that a couple times, ah, ah, ah. If you want to do this in different vowels, you're more than welcome to do so. If you want to go, oh, 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 a, 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 however you want to do it. For me personally and for other people, I feel like E is the easiest one, but do whatever feels comfortable for you. So we know E, E, E. Now skip the first like, E's, if that makes sense. You're gonna focus on just holding it. So we're gonna go E, like that. So now after holding it, I want you to fluctuate the pitch. So we're gonna go at first, E, E, E. Then we're gonna hold it, E, E, E. Now I want you to go up and down. So it's gonna sound like this, E, 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 like that. I know it sounds super weird, you know, but this is the beginning steps. Next, I want you to focus on just adjusting the pitch itself. You probably did this when you were younger, just as like a random, Thing on the playground we were like wow 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 like that as weird as it sounds that's the secret to singing subharmonics or one of the techniques to singing subharmonics so i'm gonna go e e e wow 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 now this is called a vocal fry a lot of people refer to like say a creaking door training your vocal fry or the kind of creaking voice sound is really good for doing subharmonics even jeff from voice play talked about how in some of his vocal practices his coach will make him do almost scales with the fry again i know this sounds super weird but the more you practice your fry that's gonna make it a lot easier to sing in subharmonics the next step when it comes to the fry is now focus on doing it a little bit slower you may have heard this in the last one i did so i suppose you're going like wow 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 I'm trying to slow the vibration, so to speak, or that creaking door a little bit slower. So, wow, 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 wow. So now you hear that kind of creaking door, almost kind of creepy, right? Kind of creepy sound. Now what we're gonna do is combine the vocal fry, that kind of creaking, creepy, weird sound with a note, and that's how we can get into the subharmonic. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to pick any note that feels comfortable. You don't want to do a note too high or too low. So I suggest to a lot of people just sing any note. I guarantee the note you just sang, if you're following along, is probably a note that you're comfortable with. So for me, I might go, oh, like that's the note. So I'm just gonna go, oh, that's the note I'm gonna use. You could do E. Now what I want you to do is hold the note, then count chocula. So we're gonna do E, ah, ah. I switched up the vowels, so I might do this again and just keep the vowels the same. So I could do like, E, e, e. I feel like the ah, ah, ah is way more iconic for like Dracula or 
Count Chocula or whatever. But, you know, you can mix and match how you want. So what we're doing now is no Count Chocula. So again, e, e, e. Now what I want you to do is don't kind of stutter it, but we're going to do two notes now. You're going to do the normal note, like I said, the oh, whatever you're comfortable singing. And then we're going to do one fry after. So it's going to sound like this. A, 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 a. Again, I know it sounds super bizarre. It's all in the progress, all in the steps. Now what we're gonna do is do it slow. To oversimplify this a tremendous amount, and that's what I'm trying to do on this video to make this very beginner's friendly, picture a subharmonic almost in between a note and a vocal fry. If you kind of picture it on a spectrum, you have the fry and then like an actual just oh, and then wow, wow. As the fry, the subharmonic is in the middle of those two. I think that's like a very easy way to picture it in your mind. So I'm gonna go, Oh, wow, wow, wow. Like that. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Now just hold the fry. So I'm going to go, oh, 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 like that. Oh, like that. Right? So you're kind of holding the note to then the fry. And you can already kind of start hearing how the subharmonic slowly in some way starting to form in there. Oh, uh, oh, uh, like that. Right? Oh, uh. at that point now, you can slowly kind of hear the transition happening. Now what I want you to do is approach the vocal fry, but don't do it. So I'm going to go, oh, like that. Oh. Now that's the start of the subharmonic. What you want to do is relax your vocal cords. Now we're going to go for it, so to speak, right? With all that being said, hit that note, the comfortable note you feel singing. And again, you can pick the vowel that you want. I might do O, I might switch it up to E now. So I'm going to go E, like that. E, E, now I'm going to do this slow, so I'm going to approach the vocal fry, but I'm not going to do it. E, e, e. Now it is going to sound odd between your vocal fry and the subharmonic. You're probably going to slip in and out of the subharmonic a lot. So it might sound something like this. E, e. You might have that kind of weird creaky sound where you'll get the note and you're like, oh, I can hear it. And then you might slip in and out. The best way I can describe singing subharmonics, I know it sounds odd, is in my mind, this is the best analogy I can think of, is I look at normal singing, like, oh, like that, as being stable on ground, right? Just walking normally on flat ground. And then when it comes to subharmonic singing, I look at it very similar to, if you've ever used one of those, um, those balance boards where like there's a wheel on the bottom, they use them a lot for like skateboarding and surfing. That's the way I look at subharmonic singing. The natural nature of it is a bit wobbly and almost unstable. I know that sounds weird, but in the beginning, you're gonna have that subharmonic note and then slip out of it a billion times. All you need to do again, like I said, is hit that note, O, E, A, whatever vowel you want to use, and then fry into it. Another thing I will say is to relax as much as possible. I've noticed for a lot of people, if you want to try to sing super low, you like strain. So you're like, like that. You kind of do that big thing where you're like, oh, I'm going to belt out. I find with subharmonics, it's the exact opposite. If I'm trying to force it like, oh, like even right then and there, I don't even know if I can strain it. Let me say like, oh, like it's almost tough. So you almost have to relax and try to think of your mind letting your vocal cords flap, I know that sounds weird to say, as much as possible. The more relaxed you are, the more calm they are, the easier it is to get that subharmonic. So if I go, oh, and I'm straining it, I lost it right away, you could hear it. Like I got it for a second maybe, or a millisecond. Take a deep breath and relax. I can get that really strong subharmonic sound that I want. In addition to, typically what happens is when you sing a note, the subharmonic will be the octave below it. And what you could do is like say if you're in that note and you're like E, E, like that, E, E, and then I can maybe even slide down. So if I want to relax and go even lower, it's all about relaxing as much as possible. E, One last pro tip I will give you. I actually heard this from Bobby Bass. He's insane with subharmonics. The guy's a beast. He's huge on TikTok and YouTube and everything. Highly suggest watching some of his videos. Don't think of singing as high to low in terms of up and down. Think of high to low as uh, right to left. The reason why, this is something I'm trying to break. This is a habit I'm trying to break where if I want to sing high, I'm usually like, ah, 
Like I do this and I do this with my head. Ah, or whatever. And if I try to sing low, oh, I naturally go low. So I'm naturally like moving my head and even just picturing high up here and low down here, you're naturally gonna do this with your head and your vocal cords, which obviously makes it trickier. So by thinking of high to low as right to left or left to right, however you wanna do it, then we start going e, and I'm like dipping my you know chin into my chest and everything, by doing it from right to left or left to right, or kind of on a horizontal level, I'm now going, oh, I'm not adjusting my body language. I'm not moving my head in weird positions to try to sing lower. I'm able to sing lower by not doing this weird thing with my head and putting my body in these weird positions. To run through this again, one more time, super fast. Remember, we're gonna start at Count Chocula, or Count Dracula, or Dracula in general, and we're gonna move all the way then to the subharmonic. Ah, 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 oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 wow, 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 oh, 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 wow, oh, wow, oh. 